AviationPros.com is the portal website for AMT, airport business, and ground support worldwide magazines. Visit daily for breaking news, industry blogs, and insightful articles from our magazine's editorial team. And don't forget to sign up for our publication's daily e-newsletters. It's all at AviationPros.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the Aviation Pros podcast. I'm Joe Petrie, Editorial Director for the Endeavor Aviation Group. Environmental sustainability has been a major issue for airports in recent years, with a lot of them taking big steps to implement new alternative fuels and airside equipment. The calls for an end to diesel usage continue to ring out across the industry while leaders decide what the future of their air equipment will look like. Electrification has been the most touted alternative fuel going forward, but airports aren't fully on board yet. In fact, Airport Business's 2023 North American Airfield Equipment and Condition and Power Plant Report reveals only 19% of airports say they're ready to implement electric equipment, and only 13% expect their airport to have electrified equipment in the next decade. But there are alternatives out there that airports are trying in order to bridge this gap. One is San Diego International Airport which recently announced it received its first shipment of renewable diesel to help replace petroleum diesel. This despite the fact the airport is geared towards full electrification in its future. I spoke with San Diego's environmental affairs manager, Chad Reese, about the move and how the airport is charting its own grief future on the air side. All right, Chad. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. So I had a couple of questions talking about San Diego's goals when it comes to sustainability. Tell me, what is it that have been set forth by the airport that you guys are looking to accomplish? Sure thing. Yeah, the San Diego County Regional Airport Authority has a sustainability management program, and that's really our framework for advancing our sustainability progress. The program comprises seven distinct plans, and they're around water stewardship, strategic energy, carbon neutrality, clean transportation, zero waste climate resilience, and biodiversity. Um, The authority set goals and standalone strategies that we aim to achieve by 2035 for each of these plans. Um, We also have a sustainability policy and The airport authority was one of the first in the country with a formal sustainability policy going back 15 years or so to 2008. And so um, really the policy formalizes the authority's commitment to environmentally sustainable uh, business practices. It commits us to uh, annual sustainability reporting. We do, uh, we publish our sustainability report via the global reporting initiative or GRI framework. We also, um, the policy uh, commits us, if you will, to actively participate in sustainability partnerships regionally and within the aviation industry. It requires a proactive addressing of greenhouse gas emissions and uh, reducing impacts with climate change, particulate emissions. We review and evaluate all of our new programs and projects within our capital program to address the triple bottom line of sustainability. And it also, the policy um, adopts the standards set forth by the U.S. Green Building Council, their lead uh, leadership in energy and environmental design. And when lead isn't appropriate, uh, it points us to other equivalent green building and design construction standards, things like Park Smart, Envision, et cetera. Um, And I would probably end on, finally, we participate in Airport Council International's Airport Carbon Accreditation Program. The authority has been conducting annual greenhouse gas emissions inventories for about 10 years. And based on um, 2021 emissions data, San Diego International Airport received the the highest level of ACA certification. That's level, level four plus. It's called transition. And so what that means is we're one of three North American airports certified at at that level, uh, including DFW and Vancouver, great project partners. The third party verified ACA program is the framework that really helps us track and manage our scopes one and and two emissions. 
Um, and it also provides um, a helpful framework for um, having conversations with our business partners to um, influence where we can the reduction of scope three emissions. So um, we do um, carbon offset using a program that the, the airport authority owns, manages called the Good Traveler to offset any residual emissions from our scope one and two emissions. And then we work with our business partners as we'll get into in this conversation to help reduce our scope three emissions as well. Now, we hear a lot about different alternative fuels in this industry, especially electric. We've always heard about CNG when it comes to a lot with airside equipment. Tell us a little bit what renewable diesel is and why this is something that San Diego is interested in getting involved with. First, I'd like to point out uh, what renewable diesel isn't, and that's biodiesel. So renewable diesel is chemically identical to petroleum diesel, and it um, it, but it has many properties that petroleum diesel doesn't. Um, it has the renewable diesel has the potential to reduce emissions up to 75% versus petroleum diesel. And um, it is typically derived from vegetable oil, animal fats, agricultural waste that would otherwise end up in a landfill. So because it's chemically identical to petroleum diesel, Renewable diesel doesn't require any modifications to engines or equipment, uh, no storage modifications necessary. So it's literally a drop in fuel uh, that we can use as a, a quick way to generate emissions reductions for airside diesel equipment. And I understand you're already at 64% alternative fuels for your airside equipment at San Diego. What's the goal to get to 100? How are we going to achieve that? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, about 30% of our fleet is electric right now. About 3% is uh, propane usage. And then with the other, you know, 33% uh, renewable di or diesel that is now converted to renewable diesel, as we're, we're about 64% alternative fuel. Uh, I consider renewable diesel a bridge fuel. It's really a a great way to uh, transition to alternative um, vehicles that may be harder to um, to electrify. There may be um, certain equipment types that haven't reached you know full market availability for electric um, vehicles like firefighting equipment and other things aren't you know don't serve as quickly to uh, transition to electric. So renewable diesel uh, really provides that uh, opportunity for us to uh, reduce emissions. And it's also due to the particulates that it reduces. It's, it's an environmental justice issue as well. But having said all that, um, our goal, we do have uh, an ambitious program to electrify as much of the mobile sources as we can. The goal, um, Renewable diesel shares the same constituent, um, you know, feedstock, as you, if you will, as sustainable aviation fuel. So whatever is used in ground transportation can't be used for harder to decarbonize things like aircraft. So we have, it's really a, a, a portfolio of emissions reductions that we're going after, but we have capital projects to install um, EV charging for electric GSE, and we've worked with FAA and uh, airline stakeholders to um, convert as much as we can in our existing terminal too, and we'll have the equivalent of about four ports per gate um, for electric GSE at terminal two, and for our new terminal one, which we're currently in construction for, we'll have about five, the equivalent of five ports per gate. Um, we are also looking at providing uh, infrastructure for light duty vehicles that access you know, to and from the, the air side from the land side. So we really want to encourage our business partners to convert to electric um, as well as leverage the benefits of renewable diesel. And that's really interesting that you're looking at this as a bridge as well as solving a problem. 
So tell me, what is it about renewable diesel that really makes this such a valuable tool to help the airport meet its sustainability goals? Renewable diesel has the potential to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions by up to 75 percent, uh, depending on the constituent feedstock. And uh, it's also a uh, an environmental justice issue because with the reduction of particulate emissions, um, um, individuals that are working in the environment where there are emissions, um, you know, it's it's definitely a um, a benefit to reduce those emissions. Renewable diesel has also been used in construction projects. As I mentioned, we're also um, in the middle of um, a new Terminal 1 construction, and we have been able to use renewable diesel for the vast majority, about 96% of the construction equipment that facilitates our um, our airside redevelopment projects that facilitates our new terminal one. Um, simultaneously, we're, we also encourage um, construction teams to use the highest tier diesel equipment available. So not only would they potentially be using renewable diesel, but they'd be using more efficient uh, vehicles that emit less. Now, one of the biggest challenges we hear often from airports when it comes to getting a handle on switching over to more sustainable fuel choices for airside equipment is just the sheer amount of people and stakeholders that have to be involved. And let's be honest, it's probably the toughest job on the airport right now, if you think about it, because it's pretty much everybody that's getting impacted by putting in alternative fuel equipment. So tell me, what were the stakeholders that you brought into the mix to make sure that this initiative got going in the right direction? Yeah, we've been working with our business partners, our airlines, and our uh, fuel consortium, which is called the Sand Fuel Company, uh, on this initiative for multiple years. And we've spent a lot of time talking to airline environmental teams about renewable diesel, uh, including you know product specifications, uh, addressing any questions that they have about the fuel switch. We've talked to the you know budget at budget meetings for the the sand fuel company. And at the end of the day, liquid fuel procurement is within the purview of the sand fuel company. And the airport authority is uh, providing electrical infrastructure. So it's really the stakeholder engagement of, you know, many different initiatives to reduce emissions. We also have a token amount of sustainable aviation fuel at the airport, and that's mainly uh, coming in through our fixed base operator signature flight. And with things like renewable diesel or sustainable aviation fuel, you really have to get sign off of all parties. So all that upfront work to communicate the benefits and, and to ameliorate any um, hesitation around risk um, it's really been a conversation about how can we make sure that our business partner's equipment um, will be okay with the transition. So all that upfront development work has really paid off. And now we have a, a 15,000 gallon diesel tank airside that is now, you know, completely renewable diesel. And then we have the other sustainable aviation fuel at Signature. So as we get more volumes of SAF, we'll be able to um, distribute that across the, the airport operations. And then, of course, the renewable diesel is um, all in, even our firefighting equipment, uh, et cetera. That's a lot of moving parts. So I got to know then, which of these challenges were the biggest ones to overcome in order to get renewable diesel into the mix? Well, I would say cost is always a big driver for any initiative, any sustainability initiative. Um, the good news is renewable diesel does appear to be at cost parity to petroleum. Uh, that's something that we weren't uh, necessarily expecting to see. Um, we expected a, a slight price premium. So that's great news um, on the environmental and on the fiscal front. And I would say just that continued collaboration and partnership uh, about stated goals um, and uh, continued conversation is really what's 
what's helped us get to this point. By March of this year, we started uh, taking on exclusive renewable diesel. Oh, that's that's pretty impressive. I was able to come on that quick. So how has it impacted overall operations? I mean, what kind of modifications were necessary or infrastructure needs in order to be able to implement this? According to Menzies Aviation, deliveries have come without issue. There have been no supply disruptions. And uh, as I mentioned, renewable diesel is a, a drop in fuel, so no modifications of equipment or storage were necessary. Um, renewable diesel is um, the sustainable fuel that's made from vegetable oil, animal fats, ex- agricultural waste that would otherwise have end up ended up in a landfill. So um, because it is a drop in fuel, if we needed to, for some reason, if there was a supply issue or some sort of disruption, we could transition to petroleum diesel until we got through whatever issue we had and then go back to renewable diesel. But that's just a backup plan. I would say the biggest operational impact is the emissions reductions that I mentioned uh, compared to petroleum diesel. As far as I know, um, San is the only airport exclusively using renewable diesel for airside operations, but lots of other airports and municipalities up and down the state of California um, use renewable diesel for different fleet types, be it uh, firefighting equipment or you know buses, et cetera. So it, it's a very proven and ubiquitous um, fuel type. And now that it's been in operation, I mean, has the equipment performed as normal? Have there been any challenges on that front? Yeah, Joe, to my knowledge, there have been no reported issues with equipment performance uh, from the use of renewable diesel. Well, that's certainly good to hear. (laughs) So tell me then, how is this implementation of the renewable diesel going to continue? Uh, Is there more to come or is it all in place as its uh, system as being a bridge for the future? Yeah, we've switched to renewable diesel for all our non-road diesel vehicles uh, and equipment on the air side. And and we plan to continue to use the renewable diesel product indefinitely. Over time, I anticipate more ground support equipment uh, to be converted to electric, but um, I think we're on a good path. And my last question for you then today, there's a lot of airports looking at a lot of different solutions to try and impact their sustainability goals on their air side and just clean up the air around the airport. So what advice would you be giving to them if they wanted to look at this technology as an alternative to their diesel fleets? Great question. I would say there are a lot of details involved when working through a fuel switch and, you know, the airline business partners are, you know, the, the um, instrumental stakeholders um, to help an airport achieve its uh, carbon reduction goals. So at the end of the day, a a sustainability project really needs to make good business sense. And our partnership with our business partners has uh, provided a solution to achieve multiple sustainability goals um, for the airport and for all parties involved. Wonderful, Chad. Well, thank you very much for joining us today and appreciate you letting us know a little bit about what you guys have going on at San Diego. It's very exciting to hear such progress happening on the airfield. Joe, if I may, um, there's one other piece to the electrification that um, I didn't fully address that I think is a a great story for San Diego International Airport. So um, as we transition to electric, We are part of a program through our local community choice aggregation program called San Diego Community Power. And the aggregator is able to procure um, different levels of renewable electricity that's delivered via the grid to the airport. We have opted up to the highest level of service called Power 100, which means that San Diego Internet National Airport receives 100% clean and carbon-free electricity. And so whenever we um, plug a, a electric uh, GSC or you know our fleet of electric buses or even aircraft for that matter that plugs into gate power, they are using 100% renewable and carbon-free electricity. So the um, this is in addition to our on-site photovoltaic and battery storage that uh, that we already have. So between liquid fuels, 
alternative fuels like renewable diesel and an ambitious um, you know, electrification program, we are really um, making great progress into our carbon reduction goals at San Diego International Airport. That's wonderful to hear, and that's great to see such a strong commitment from an airport to uh, addressing such an important goal. So thank you, Chad. I really appreciate you letting us know all about this. It's such a great story to hear out of San Diego. Thanks, Joe, for the opportunity. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. Make sure to check out the Airport Business North American Airfield Equipment and Condition Report in the show notes. And make sure to look to aviationpros.com for the most comprehensive information related to alternative fuel use in airports. I'm Joe Petrie. We'll catch you next time.